January 19th. January 19th. Um, health advice, I would say get more sunlight. Get more sunlight. Um, right now, uh, I'm a bit aggravated. I'm a bit aggravated. Um, <clears throat> just got stuck in the mud, and man, I don't know. I don't know if I've been that stressed ever in life. Um, and there's so much, so much going on, so much going on surrounding that situation. Um, I think that is what being checkmated feels like. I think that is what being checkmated feels like. Like if chess was like a, a, a thing in life, I think that is as close to being checkmated as not as possible, but it's pretty damn close. Cause I think checkmate, you lose your kingdom or whatever happens to the king after checkmate, you know. Um, but it was just, I was just stuck. I couldn't believe I couldn't get out of that situation on my own. Um, but uh, I'm currently driving, obviously. You know, I'm in car studios as always. And um, I just saw a child trafficking sign. Just saw a child trafficking sign. And it was this white male with a sad look on his face. You know, most people look at that and, oh, you know, oh, that's a shame. But where does my brain go? I begin to think about the person who's into not only having an underage sexual partner, but an underage sexual partner who has been kidnapped and who is being sold against their will and who is probably crying or screaming or just numb to life at that point. And you have this extremely cold person that just does not care at all. Probably gets off on all of that. And this child trafficking thing, man, um, it's almost a hushed situation. When you hear about prominent figures having anything to do with that, it's um, censored or covered up. It's wild that the this child trafficking thing isn't going away. Like no matter what, there is a market for it. There is a market for that. And it's like how big is this market? Who's, who are the customers? Um, I 
think you call him a sex offender when you uh, have someone who's committed some type of sexual crime and they have to make you aware that they're living around you these are just the people that got caught You know, you might have some family members who are into that. I may have some family members who are into that, you know. I don't know, man. I don't know. But that is just one of the sick aspects of this society you know um, probably the area that's in plain sight is the uh, some of these religious sects sects s-e-c-t-s some of these religious sects or religious organization or religious groups why I say a word that difficult when I could just say group or organization. Um, but I've only heard about that. I've never experienced it. But it's joked about. And it's this blatant thing. I always hear about these uh, people who lead these religious groups or these religious organizations that once they are caught once they're caught the person or the people above them just ship them to another area um But yeah, man, hey, look into what I'm saying. If it's false, please tell me it's false. Like, I would love to know that it's false. Um, as you can tell from that yawn, I'm a bit exhausted. Today has been a day. Oh, my goodness. Today has been a, Today has been one, boy. being caught in the mud and doing everything that I that I can that's I can think of to get myself out of it but it wasn't until the tow truck came that they got me out of the mud and they made it seem easy uh but peace to you peace to you